or being political? Mr Speaker, no and no. Question number nine. Matt Doocy. Speaker, uh, to the Health Minister, how much money was appropriated in Budget 2017 for mental health? The Honourable Dr David Clark. Mr Speaker, out of the $16.7 billion budgeted for Vote Health, I'm advised by the Ministry of Health it's impossible to say how much was appropriated for mental health specifically. Supplementary question. To the Minister, were the Prime Minister's doubts correct about the $100 million put aside in a contingency fund for mental health in Budget 2017 when she said to media, you're assuming it was real? Point of order. A point of order, the Honourable Dr David Mr Clark. Speaker, the primary question is about appropriated expenditure. The member is now raising the issue of unappropriated expenditure. Yeah, and, and, and while, while I... While I understand the, uh, the background of the member and the fact that uh, as a former Treasury official he has, he has very good knowledge about the difference. Uh, I think we, we, we shouldn't expect uh, every member of Parliament to have that detail and I think, I think that question uh, comes close enough. Sorry, Mr Speaker, could the member please repeat the question in that case? Sure. Were the Prime Minister's doubts correct? about the $100 million put aside in a contingency fund for mental health when she said to media, you're assuming it was real? Mr Speaker, yes. <laughs> Supplementary. In light of that answer, to the Minister, where is that $100 million being redirected to, considering that amount was set aside solely for mental health in Budget 2017? Uh, Mr Speaker, that money was not appropriated. <laughs> to the Health Minister. The minister so is the Minister saying he has received no advice from officials that the $100 million does in fact exist and that advice has been given to the Prime Minister? Mr Speaker, um, I might be able to assist the member. Uh, the money has not been appropriated. There was a contingency fund uh, in the fiscal forecasts uh, and uh, the government had taken no decision on any initiatives uh, that it had spoken to. There are some initiatives that clearly were in their infancy, uh, poorly thought through some of them, um, and over nine years it had not taken any action on the front that it was advertising. Supplementary question to the Minister. Which of the 17 mental health projects identified by the previous government in concert with government agencies, the chief science advisor and the mental health sector will be missing out as a result of this redirection of money? Uh, Mr Speaker, some of those ideas, which I state again were in their infancy, uh, had some useful evidence behind them. We will develop those ideas that had useful evidence and this government will get on with the job of making sure that mental health is a priority. It won't take us nine years to make a meaningful difference in mental health. Point of order, Mr Speaker. A point of order, Matt Tussie. Could I get an answer which clearly outlines which projects? Well, well I, I, if, in fact, if I wanted to take the technical approach that the minister did at the beginning, I would have ruled the whole question out. Uh, and I think it is very hard to get an answer uh, about uh, unappropriated uh, expenditure. You can't take something away that hasn't been given. <laughs> the Right Honourable Winston Peters. Oh, Can sorry, I ask I, sorry, sorry, I apologise. A point of order, the Honourable Stephen Joyce. Speaker, uh, there's a difference obviously in, 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 in wording and nomenclature here, uh, but it's important that the House doesn't trip itself up on it. Uh, because somebody can, some money can be set aside in a contingency fund and not necessarily finally appropriated. Yep. Uh, and I appreciate that's a fine distinction, but I think to the public, money being set aside is actually set aside. Um, uh, and the fact that it's yet to be finally appropriated is a technical distinction which the Minister <laughs> is leading. I, I, the member resume a seat. I, uh, I did spend quite a lot of time dealing with these matters, and I give him an absolute assurance that lots of money goes into contingency funds that don't make their way, that doesn't make their way to the things where, uh, where, they, where they may have the appropriation, the appro the appro which don't make the way, 
uh, and that is not taking something away because it hasn't it, because it hasn't yet been given. The decision to appropriate is that decision. The right hon. Winston Peters. Yes. Can I ask the Minister as to whether he's discerned a pattern of announcements with respect to the contingency fund, yet not appropriated in a number of areas of medicine and elsewhere as well? Mr Speaker, uh, there have been a lot of promises made under the, terms of the previous term of the previous government uh, without the delivery that is needed um, to deliver on those promises. Uh, this is an unfortunate pattern. The member's right. A point of order, the Honourable Stephen Jones. Uh, just, uh, I, know, I know you don't want me reflecting on your, um, your decisions, but I, I do like to occasionally reflect for a short period of time. Well, you, you, the member's getting a bit of latitude. Uh, First say back. Well, I'm just, just concerned that, uh, that this is indeed a debatable point. Uh, there's no doubt that the money was set aside. Yep. Um, my colleague, is, it was announced, uh, it's in the budget documents. My colleague is attempting to question the Minister on what happened to the money. I appreciate he's hiding behind the lack of an appropriation, but it's actually in. Right. in it is actually that, in. No, the member will resume his seat. He, what, what, what I would like is for the member, if he's going to make a point of order, to make it around standing orders and around speakers' rulings and not to reflect on other members or attempt to make political points. If he does, he'll be stopped immediately. Well, sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm actually part way through hearing the Honourable Stephen Joyce. Can we let him finish? He, he's finished, is he? Yes. yes. Right. Absolutely. The order, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, well, if that's the criteria, it's this. Uh, the Speaker has no role determining whether questions are in or out of order depending on whether money is in a contingency or appropriated. Yes. It's and not the Speaker's job. It's a debatable matter for the House. That announcement was made in this House as part of a budget. It's legitimate debating material. It was widely publicised, welcomed by the sector. It is not your role, with respect, to say the question can't be answered on the basis of the technicalities of appropriation. It's simply wrong. The right hon. Winston Peter. The second point made by Mr Ducey was, where has the money gone that was set aside? That was the second question, and the rest of it just fell apart after that. <laughs> Well, I, I, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have, order, order. I will, I will stand up, and I wouldn't have put it um, quite like that. But technically, right back at the beginning, the uh, the honourable minister was correct, uh, and and I was probably a little kinder than I should have been uh, to let a certain uh, number of questions run. Um, whether something's appropriate or not, we, have an we had an assurance uh, from the Minister, so at that point it is not a, it's not a debating matter. We're at question time and the Minister's word uh, has to be taken. I probably should have stopped two or three of the other supplementaries uh, from Mr Ducey, uh, but, but I decided I know that people are very interested in this area of policy and, and decided that notwithstanding the fact that Technically, they were outside, or technically, they were not well expressed. Um, I decided to let them go so that there could be comment on them uh, in the House. Are there any further? Um, what, what was the technical basis on which you would have ruled the questions out of order? Well, well the, we had an assurance from the Minister uh, that, the, that the money had not been appropriated, uh, and, and we, we had further questions. Uh, on the basis from Mr Ducey, uh, which worked, worked on the basis that they were. Speaker, where does it say in standing orders that Parliament can't discuss money which, is not be which has been announced, is placed in a contingency, but is not finally appropriated? That, that would be an innova a standing orders innovation that in 27 years I've never heard. And, 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 and I didn't so rule. <laughs> well, the, it... <laughs> Um, Mr. Mr. Hopkins is probably lucky that I wasn't standing up, because he might have been standing up. The right honourable. Um, what was your What was your ruling? Sorry. What was my, your ruling? My, the, the ruling was that actually Dr. Clark uh, was accurate uh, in his um, in his comments at the beginning, because the the initial question uh, and 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 some of the obviously well prepared supplementaries uh, flowed from. Uh, a question of, of appropriation. And, and Dr Clark did point out uh, that the supplementaries 
um, were in fact about money which failed at that first hurdle. Uh, Mr Speaker, in light of... Uh, Is this a further point yes, of it's, order? It's, it's, a fresh, it's a fresh point of order in relation to the same question. Sure. Um, and, uh, Mr Clark, or Dr Clark in his answer to that question said that he couldn't say um, how much had been appropriated for mental health. Uh, and yet we are now talking about the level of exactitude about what is and isn't appropriated, which would suggest, with respect, that he could say, because you'd know what was appropriated and what isn't. We, he can't have it both ways. On the one hand, saying uh, he knows exactly what is appropriate and what isn't, but he is unable to answer the primary question. Well, I, I, think, I think the member might reflect on that, and he might want to come and see me afterwards, and I'll, I'll do some further explanations. Um, question number 10, the Honourable... Sorry, Dr Liz Craig. Question is to the Minister of Health and Arts.